Good morning, Light and Life West. My name is Michelle Roberts, and I will be reading 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be fooled by those who say such things, for bad company corrupts good character. Did you know our attitudes are contagious? We have all experienced this. You start your day off with your morning cup of coffee. Um, you're able to get ready and get out of the house without the kids driving you insane. You hit all of the green lights on your way to work. Or better still, there's no traffic. It's going to be a great day, right? Then all of a sudden, you have one coworker that will come over and start venting about their long weekend and how the boss is unfair. And before you know it, your fantastic day has turned to, it's a crummy day. <laughs> After all, the boss is being unfair. And that long list of weekly to-dos, it seems to keep growing and growing and growing. Does that sound familiar? Figured it would. So to change our attitude, we may need to change who we're letting influence us. The words of the people closest to us permeate our heart, which is the source of our attitude. So while we can't control what happens to us, we can guard what saturates our heart. If we don't, eventually negativity will wear us down and leave us feeling defeated. It will leave our hearts exposed and infused with everything other than Christ's truth and love. And we don't want that. God says, walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffer harm. Our inner circle of friends must be searching for Christ and his wisdom just like we are. This helps guard our heart, therefore adjusting our attitude. As we walk through our day, let us pay attention to how we are allowing attitudes of those around us to affect our attitude. What are our conversations filled with? Who are the people around you who are influencing you? Um, how much social media are you taking in? Um, how many hours of the news are you watching? What type of music are you listening to? When was the last time you logged on to YouTube and listened to praise and worship of one of our services? I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Guarding your heart includes guarding what you hear and what you listen to. And eventually it will... Um, it will change the things that you say, not just your attitude, but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth does speak. So we got to do a good job of guarding what comes into our hearts. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and ask the Lord to help us with that. Let's pray. Father, please help me pay attention to what I allow into my heart. Help me to recognize when I'm being led astray so that I don't, so that I will quickly turn back to you. I want your word and spirit to protect my heart. I'm asking this in Jesus' name. All right, you guys, go out and have yourself a wonderful day and please stay safe.